Hey YouTube, it's Adrian here. Welcome back from some sort of Pokemon Black and White. So last episode we fought Grimsley, the Dark type Master. We won him, and now we're gonna go and fight Caitlyn, who happens to be a Psychic type trainer. Which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I do like the Psychic type Pokemon in this game, but she's a, she is literally a pure Psychic type trainer, pretty much. And uh, oh my God, wait, wait, what? Oh, this is so cool. I, I do like the entire Leaf Four animation, the Leaf Four animations, because it looks so sweet. And that was a pretty fast one to be honest, compared to Grimsley's. That his took forever. But let's see. Well, she's, she's in bed. Wake up. There you go. Thank you, Caitlin. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? So, like I said, we're starting off with the uh, Zebra Strike in here. Let's fire. How, who are you? How impotent you are to disturb my sleep. Hmm. You, you appear to possess a very combination. Uh, uh, you appear to possess a combination of strength and kindness very well. Make your best effort not to bore me with a yawn inducing battle. Clear? Okay. So, we're going to fight in Caitlin now. Um, so Caitlyn isn't too bad. So you're gonna start off with a Renulius. It's a psychic type. It knows the ability Magic Guard. And it, uh, its ability is Magic Guard. It knows Energy Ball, Thunder, Focus Blast, and Psychic. As you can see, this Pokemon's got a lot of um, like um, a lot of different like move sets, and this is why this is gonna be one of the hardest Pokemon to fight in this journey. We gotta play it safe. We're gonna go for a quick discharge. See how much damage we do. Obviously, not too much damage. Psychic probably will. One hit us, sadly. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, what we're going to go into now is Sigalith. We're going to set up a um, a what's it called wall. Um, I get feeling, I get feeling a wonderful time is about to start. Or something. We're going to set up a um, reflect. Yeah, we're going to set up a reflect here. I hope reflect gets rid of special. No, it got rid of defense. It's fine. Thunder. I am a bit disappointed. I, I, I pressed the wrong key there. It's fine. Yeah, my own fault. I, I got confused with Light Skin and Reflect. My own, I'm only human, guys. Uh, let's go into Daco now and go for a quick swipe. Focus Blast is going to be the main, like, thing here. All the Pokemon are pretty much specials. They've got no physical moves in the slightest. So it's always good just to set up a, a, a Light Screen, but I messed it up and I pressed Reflect instead. For Thunder, it's probably going to one-hit us. Thunder is, Thunder is so hard to hit Pokemon. It's literally, like, 75% chance it's going to hit. And it's just hit three times. That is really, really uncommon, to be honest. We're going to go into critical, and we're going to go for a quick Dragon Claw here. We should be faster. Quick, quick critical is a boss. So, I'm... I'm, I'm actually going to set up a Dragon Dance here. I think... Yeah, I, I thought she was going to heal. Uh, you're thinking why. She has got a Pokemon with Ice Beam, which I've got a feeling is going to be annoying if we don't handle it pretty fast. So, yeah, um, we're going to go and set up with that. Let's, let's go for a quick... Dragon Claw, we should be faster. Yeah, we are. Okay. It's just with a Dragon Claw. Let's see how much damage we do. Come on, do do some good damage. Come on. Two shot it. Psychic is fine. We should easily win a Psychic here. I'm, I'm not complaining. We're gonna, we, should, we should stay alive, yeah. So for another Dragon Claw, and this is going to put her... Renulis... Re, 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 Reunicus? I can't pronounce that. It's such a weird name. But yeah, Critical again through that experience. And now I feel like we're off. And next Pokemon is Sigalith. Or 48. Psychic Flying type. It knows the ability to wonder skin. It knows air sl uh, it's, it's the ability to win a skin. It knows the moves air slash shadow ball, ice beam, and psychic. So I don't think uh, our critical is going to be able to kill this guy. Probably two hit. Why didn't he go for an ice beam? I'm a bit confused why he didn't go for an ice beam there. It's fine. I feel like we're going to have to start like healing up our Pokemon here. I think we're going to go into t t tapers here. He has got ghost shadow ball, which is going to do a lot of damage, but we need to heal up um, Daco as well as some other Pokemon because this guy. Th the Elite Four in this game aren't hard, but they, they, they don't tap lightly. I, th I think Sinnoh's Elite Four is a lot harder than this. So what I think what we should do is, um, I'm thinking, I think we're going to heal up Dusty first. Dusty is faster than most Pokemon, so as long as we get the first attack off, it's fine. Shadow Ball should probably kill us. I'm not going to lie, it should kill us. Or not. If I'm me, we can heal up, uh, I think we're going to heal up Grayson now and actually set up a light screen as well. So, uh, we need to set that live screen seriously, like, we can't keep dealing with that. It's fine. It's fine. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into Zebra Strike and now go for a quick, um, discharge. I'm going to switch into Grayson. And with Grayson, we're going to go and actually, um, set up a live screen and not mess it up. Go for a discharge, which should be faster, yeah. It should probably one-hit it, well, get, get rid of the main HP because it is a flying-type Pokemon. And it did, so that's great. So, so uh, that's 2.6 thousand. Mushroom is next. We're gonna go into a uh, integration and set up a light screen, like I said. Mushroom is level 48. It is a it's a psychic type. It knows the ability to synchronize. It knows shadow ball. Uh, it's ability to synchronize. It knows shadow ball, psychic charge beam, and reflect. 
So it's more of a physical wall, this. So we're going to be specializing in, um, in like, uh, what's it called? We're going to be specializing more in special attacks. So yeah, our special, our special attack has been, uh, special defense has been raised, like, so his damage is going to do half. As you can see, it is pretty overpowered. So, so now it's going to, it's time to heal up all our Pokemon, I think. So we're going to start off by healing up, um, Grayson, because uh, Grayson's a boss. Honestly, these, these, these Elite Four is easy, but you should, you're having to do a lot, a lot of stalling, you know, you've got to play a lot more smarter than normal. So Shadow Ball should not kill us, and we're still going to will his, his damage down. I'm sure it's not using Charge Beam, to be honest, because Charge Beam is a really good move. It's like a, a thunder type move, especially against our type in here. Uh, we're just going to heal everyone up slowly. I think we're going to heal up Daco just because of, um, I know they've got a thunder attack. I think it's best to stay in. Her, her ace Pokemon can be annoying though, so we need to be aware of that. I feel like our next Pokemon is critical. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to heal up critical, okay? And we're actually going to go for a sweep. We need to get that sweep going. Because, because, um, her last Pokemon has got Calm Mind. Meaning that it's going to keep raising its special attack and normal attack up constantly. So we're going to start with the Dragon's Dance here. I've got a feeling we can win this. I've got a feeling it won't be able to one-hit me, so that's what I'm, I'm hoping for. It just helps reflect so it knows what we're doing. Y you know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Let's go for a quick Dragon Claw here. I don't think it's going to one-hit now that she's got Reflect, but we can try. We can try. Yeah. Psychic, it shouldn't kill, especially since we have got a, um, a wall up, unless it's actually faded, which it might have actually faded by now, because I did a lot of damage. Do we risk it by going into Daco? Do we risk it? I don't think we do. I think we have to go and heal up our Pokemon a bit more. We need to make sure we get this sweep going. We need to make sure. Because the, her last Pokemon is going to be annoying as hell if we don't get sweep going. You know what I mean? So we're going to heal up Kizzy now. Oh my god. This fight is so intense. Like, you got to play so smart. It's ridiculous. Of course, like, Bug, Dark types, or Ghost types are going to be the best Pokemon to use in this fight. But obviously, we don't have any of that. No. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to slowly, like, heal up our Pokemon. We are going to go into a... Great in a second, just step into a light screen. We need to get these constant light screens going, um, just to get, like, let's get Pokemon healed up, because it's one of those things, like, we're just going to keep burning through revives, if not, and we should be sawing like, that way. So, uh, let's go for a light screen. We could go for a fly, but, yeah. A Thunderbolt, by, uh, by the way, in our last Pokemon, because you got a Thunderbolt, is going to be annoying as well. Because, like, our Pokemon are really weak to Thunder types. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Really weak. And that's not good. So as repel, as, as reflect, sorry, reflect lasted a long time. But yeah, I'm not complaining. Like I'm happy it lasted so long. Oh, Jesus Christ! So yeah, let, let's use a hyper potion on Grayson, and then we're gonna go and start healing our other Pokemon again. Shadow Ball shouldn't do too much damage. Like of course we have got the light screen up, so it's fine. It did 40 damage, so and it did lower our special defense. God damn it, that's that's, nah, that's not good. Like that is not good. So we need to heal up. I, I think, I think her with that, uh, her bloody reflect just wore off so we need to make it so she runs out of psychics you know what i mean Ooh, ooh so what Pokemon do we have left taper so i think what we have to do now is start to switch out constantly like just try to get them psychics gone she's only got 10 pp on psychic and then we can start to set up uh, our other pokemon like our haxorus to start going for a sweep so i feel like that's gonna be the way to handle this i'm kind of glad like grayson did die when he did there uh, because it, it makes sense really I feel like we're just going to attack here, go for a quick flame charge. We should be faster, which we obviously we are faster, because it is a, a, a Murana. But uh, we did get speed up, it doesn't really matter. It's going to one hit us anyway. I'm just, I, we really just need to... Wow, that light screen just works. It, it does some mad skills, man. Mad skills. So, uh, we are slowly moving its HP down. I want to go for a one shot on it. But like I said, it's, the next Pokemon's gonna be setting up like mental, like like ridiculously, like a ridiculous amount. So I, I think we need to go into Dusty here. And I'm hoping he goes go for Psychic. I'm really hoping he goes for Psychic. I know he did go for Psychic on um, our good old Tapers over here. So we're just gonna keep reviving Tapers and keep alternating between these two now. Tapers is powerful. Okay, he is going for Psychic. So we need to get rid of the, all the Psychic type moves. That's what we really need to get rid of right now. Because when that's gone, Critical can get in there, set up D-Dancers, and just own. You know what I mean? We need, we need, I think we need at least two to one-shot the next Pokemon, or at least three. It, it is a special wall, so we could actually go for a um, some kind of like... We could start off with... Um, what's it called now? Zebra Striken, and go for a... Uh, 
a quick thunder wave. I know Zebstrat can will be faster against the next Pokemon. So that's what I'm trying to hope. And I might actually do that. I think what I'm going to do for that, I'm actually going to heal up Tapers. Then we're going to switch into Zeb Striker next and actually go for a quick um, Thunder Wave. And then we're going to set up slowly. The chance that we were going to have is going to be so much greater than what she thinks. Or we could always go for a um, one on this Musharana. I feel like that, that would be a good idea, actually. Go for a Thunder Wave on Musharana. As I, uh, I don't know why I feel like that would be a, such a good play right now. Especially since she is running out of PP really fast. So I think what else we're going to do now, we're going to go into Destiny and to go for a quick Thunder Wave. We will be faster, and it does lower speed, and there's a chance that it won't get... It's like 50% chance that it won't attack uh, again. So let's go for that. And hopefully that's going to work. Hopefully you're paralyzed. Please say you're paralyzed right now. Come on. Don't attack me. Synchronize is fine. You do that to Dusty. You do that to Dusty. Yes. That's how we do it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I really don't care if, if Dusty's paralyzed, because, like I said, Dusty's just a wall right now. So uh, I think we're... We're gonna, he's going to use Psychic Guess. On our next Pokemon, we're going to go and actually go and heal up our Dragon-type Pokemon. And probably set up a Light Screen on Grace, because we just healed Grace up. And I feel like this is going to be the best way to handle this fight. Caitlyn, you are so tough. Like, seriously. Bloody hell. Um, let's go for a quick um, bag and go for a quick heal on, um, on Grayson. Uh, on Critical, even. Critical is our tank right now. We need him at full HP as fast as we can. Thank God he's, he's paralyzed. Okay, let's go for a Light Screen. It's fine. Yep, that's gonna like actually make it switch so easy for us. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping this guy dies soon. I really am. Might as well self re reflect. Might as well. I don't know what else to expect because I don't want to kill it yet. I want to wait until it does kill us because when it kills us, that that does mean that we can get straight in there with our. Um, I said I'm gonna switch out into Zeb Striker. Um, oh, it's dead Zeb Striker. Uh, when he does die, we can just get straight in there and actually go for a quick heal. I think what we're gonna do is also we're gonna go and heal up. Um, a revive on Striken. And just because her next Pokemon can set up, and we need to make sure that we've got a Thunder Wave active if we really need it. I know we're going to go for the critical strategy, like use critical to try to get as much uh, stuff as possible. My god, this Moon is not. And this paralyzes affect this Moon tenfold. You know what I mean? Might as well heal up Daco as well. He's, he's a pretty big tank as well. And then they're trying to like, heal up our most tanky Pokemon. Charge Beam will kill us. And uh, that's the end of her. Um, Grayson, I'm sorry, Grayson. It had to be done. You had to suicide for us. It's the only way we're going to beat this Mishirana. We had to do it. Let's win more off. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. It's actually time to start some D dance. I think I'm going to go for three D dancers right now. If it does hit me, I'm going to heal straight up. But since it's paralyzed, it's only 50% of the ch chance it's going to hit us. So, of course, it, it, it did hit us. Because it's one of those things. If it's 50% chance, it always manages to hit us. So, let's go for a quick heal on us. It's one of those things. One of these times, it's not going to hit us. Because it is going to be paralyzed. And it's run out of moves as well. So, in the, in the off chance, it's going to run out of moves soon. Shadow Ball, it shouldn't do too much damage. Let's see how much damage it does. Yeah, we're going to heal up anyway, because we're not risking that. We are not risking this. We are not risking this one bit. I'm kind of glad we got all the money we did and saved it all for right now, because this, this is a, such an intense fight. Charge Beam. This is stupid. She's not getting paralyzed now. When, when, I, when like, this is ridiculous. Oh, special attack, Rose, that's, that's not good. Let's go for another D-Dance. I'm sure it doesn't step in a uh, reflect, to be honest. Because he obviously knows what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go for a little sweep here. Charge beam. It's not amazing, you know. I feel like what she's, what she's trying to do is she, she's going to go for it. Wow. I think she's setting up as well now. I'm hoping... I'm hoping she gets paralyzed here. Come on, please, she get paralyzed. I think I'm going to have to go for an attack in a second. Because her special attack is raising too fast. Like, Shadow Ball shouldn't do too much damage. I love how she's not getting paralyzed in the slightest right here. Come on, get paralyzed already. C come on. Get paralyzed already. Like, seriously, Mushirana. Just get paralyzed. I'm gonna have to go for an attack because it's literally taking forever. She's not missing a bloody. She's not getting In the last five attacks, it's 50% chance. That is literally so rare. It, it would be 6% chance. Or even. It would be 3.25 chance that, that that would happen. That is crazy. There we go. Thank. God, Jesus Christ. Go for a Dragon Claw. I feel like we, we're going to finish it, definitely. But our next Pokemon is going to be an annoying one. We need to make sure... We are fast, I know that. We need to make sure it doesn't get a Calm Mind up. Because if it gets a Calm Mind up, we could be dead. Gothitelli. It's level 50. It's a Psychic type. It knows the ability to Frisk. It's a, it knows Calm Mind, Thunderbolt, Psychic, and Shadow Ball. Even at this time, I should stay cool and collect it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw here. I, I could have gone for another Dragon Stance, but I don't want to risk it. This Pokemon has got a lot of, like... Actually, I think I might have to go for a Dragon Stance. No, Dragon Claw. Stick with Dragon Claw. I think it's going to be a two-shot kill. If he starts with Carmine's up, we know it's going to be intense. That was a, such a good critical. We definitely needed that. We definitely needed that. These are the experience. Congratulations, critical. You're level 49. But yeah, we beat, we beat Caitlyn. As a trainer, you both... Uh, show excellence and elegance. We've got 1,200 Poké Dollars. My God, that was an intense fight. Jesus Christ! You haven't faced all the all the members of Leaf Four yet, have you? Don't don't concern don't concern me. Go on ahead. So yeah, that's uh, the, the third leader done. We're gonna have to heal up our Pokémon, and uh, yeah, I can't believe how how intense that battle was. Like seriously, like that was such a um, a difficult battle. Like honestly, it took a lot of stalling and stuff. We did beat it. We are out of um. I think we're gonna use, use an Ether on um. Dusty, by the way, because Dusty does need to be getting discharged. So, and since it is missing discharge, we're going to go and restore that. But now we're going to go and take off some of the quick heals. Where is this? Um, Hyper Potion. There it is. Hyper Potion. And we're going to heal everyone up to full HP. So, this is going to be where um, actually Kizzy excels, and so does Grayson. So, we're going to actually put Kizzy into first here. So, let's put Kizzy into first. So, uh, so next time, we're going to go uh, and actually fight Marshall. The I think it's the fighting master. So if you enjoyed this video, please go like, I'll be appreciated, and I shall see you guys for when we go and fight the fourth Leaf member Marshall. I'll see you guys then. Peace.